Well, what to say? There has been a forever shortage of semiconductor chips in the world, with only Google's cooperative company NVIDIA making up the largest share of the industry. Since this has been a growing concern till now, how about we opt for a worldwide AI infrastructure? Sounds crazy, right? But with the surge of AI revolution happening this rapidly sooner or later, we are simply going to need more AI chips anyways. This time, OpenAI's co-founder Sam Altman has come out with this craziest idea to facilitate chip manufacturing infrastructure all throughout the world. Is it the sci-fi revolution of Hollywood movie scenes we have been used to? This has been anticipated for long enough, finally. Is this actually going to take place where everything is run or managed by AI? Well. It's incredible yet frightening at the same time to have been able to witness a revolution of AI at this scale happen before our eyes. But is it though? Well, recently, Sam Altman has come up with his craziest vision to exemplify this AI chip manufacturing worldwide that he didn't shy up proposing a staggering 7 trillion US dollars for his visionary eye dreams. Yes, my friends. You heard that right, 7 trillion. It's not in billions, but trillion. Just imagine the US economy is around 28 trillion US dollars, and this project covers nearly one fourth of the US economy. But the question is, is it even possible to happen? Well, who even will fund this? Or is there going to be a thin line of success? Let's find out. Well, for now, UAE is proposing a multifaceted funding over the course of a decade. Sam Altman's giving this twirling tweet is saying either you can grind to help secure our collective future, or you can write substacks about why we are going to fail. Looks like he has been high on promising a collective future for us all. The real question is, is he securing our future, or open AI's future, or even his own bank balance? With this mass production, isn't he secretly indicating everything is going to be built by Gen AI? If that sort of thing happens, then the path for that sci-fi reality through the achievement of artificial general intelligence, or something along the line of how mobile phone, internet, have already been an integral part of our life, like that AI will be the newer way to opt for. Everything will be run and ruled by AI. Well, even if it doesn't go to that scale, still, AI will be having this massive breakthrough from industry production to everyday life tasks. All of these sound like promising ideas. As of now, our only concern is replacement of jobs. We are already getting threatening insights of how AI is going to take over our lives as a whole. But that's just the surface of the hidden giant. Like, with every new revolution, old jobs get replaced with newer roles, people have to adapt, and the economic structure gets integrated following this newer change. But, unlike the internet and mobile or any other tech venture, with the surge of AI, aren't we actually going to be put forward to an existential crisis? Come to think of it, AI is already showing to be as per competition with the human mind. When this ultimate boom facilitates, won't this be a matter of time until before AI surpasses human intelligence itself, which itself is counterfactual debate itself. Come to think of it, not technology in itself is perfect. AI is only as good as much data input you feed it with. Since it's wholly data-driven, how is it going to perform when there isn't enough data? Or a situation where it has encountered only the first time with no correlation with the previous data sets? AI is most definitely going to make calculated assumptions based on what it already knows. What if there's erroneous data input or lack of reliable data? AI won't have the processing power of providing the correct output. It'll be as good as you feed it with relevant data sets. What about privacy, copyright claims, scamming, misinformation, misguidance? lack of accountability or data security. OpenAI really has a lot to answer even before they can actually get close to that massive scaling. Since the data-driven policy is the only backbone of AI effectiveness, there is going to be a major issue with piracy of classified or private data. Obviously, you don't want your private data to be widely openly fed by AI. Not just that, AI has been shown to give algorithmic bias. There are already complaints of such biased systemic output leading to discrimination. Back to Altman, isn't he getting a bit ahead of himself? Well, open AI needs massive infrastructure to bloom. Since they are now only reliant on Microsoft's data center with limited computing power, certainly this resource limitation is a hurdle on the way. Then comes the AI chip shortage, which lies at the forefront at every AI tech's central optimization. His concern for building a massive infrastructure sounds valid from an entrepreneur's point of view. But what about the environmental impact? With this large-scale capacity, energy consumption will multiply accordingly. The big question is, when the world is on the pathway to go greener, 
Unless there's an innovative breakthrough in green energy production, how will the power be produced? Don't tell me. We are planning to rely again on non-renewable sources of energy. That's just killing the already badly affected environment. But we are yet to become successful in solar energy production. There has not been any significant development yet that can facilitate the multiple scales needed for electricity. So, before Altman really gets ahead with his visionary revolution, we have more in hand problems waiting to get over with. Along with that, with any technology, it's supposed to positively bring changes in our lives. So, he sure holds a major accountability with the anticipated takeover of AI, completely replacing humans or even posing a threat so big that it comes down to our existential crisis altogether. Truth be told, no matter how much we try to shut off Pandora's box, which has already been opened, it is not going to work out. What we can opt for is to make sure the AI is not left unwatched to cause any feasible harm now or in future. So everything depends on how all of our concerns are going to meet. It could either improve everything in a positive way or make everything go astray forever.